All right, let's do this example. We'll solve the triangle with uh, A equals 4, B equals 7, and angle A equals 60 degrees. So I'm going to start this by drawing the triangle. And honestly, I'm not going to worry about whether the triangle is to scale or anything like that. I'm just going to draw it out, label it ABC, and then uh, start filling things in. A is 60 degrees. Let's see, little a is across from there is 4. Little b is down here, which is 7. And little c is over here, which is one of the unknowns. So we've got to solve for b, c, and little c. All right, so first up, what do we have opposite each other? We've got A and A. So we'll have to use that to begin with. So let's see. A over sine A. Is equal to. Um, the other piece of information we have is B. So that's equal to b over sine b. All right, so let's plug in the information. a is 4. So you get 4 over sine 60 equals b, which is 7, over sine b. All right, so if I cross multiply this, I get 4 sine b equals 7 sine 60. So sine b is equal to 7 sine 60 degrees over 4. So let's see, 7 sine 60 equals that divided by 4 gives me, wait, I'll multiply by 4. 7 times sine 60 divided by 4 gives me 1.51. All right, now normally what I would do then is I would do B is equal to inverse sine of that. Basically, I'm just taking the inverse sine of both sides of this. But you might already notice what's going on. If I do uh, inverse sine of this number, my calculator gives me an error because uh, this is bigger than 1, you know, this is saying sine b is 1.51. Sine always has to be between negative 1 and 1. So when this happens, that means there's no such triangle. And that's the thing that's going to tip you off most of the time, there's no such triangle, is that you're going to wind up trying to solve for, um, you know, sine of one of your angles is bigger than 1. This one, you probably could, if you wanted to, you could probably draw it out to scale and see that it's not going to work. Because if you make this a 60 degree angle, I'm just going to eyeball it like that. If this is 60 degrees and this is um, 7, well, something that's uh, length 4 is going to come down just a little over halfway. Well, a little over halfway if we were drawing it along this. And then when we swing it out, it's going to it's not going to touch the bottom. So we're, we're going to get uh, no triangle. All right. I actually want to do the, this example next. Example uh, 303. Solve this triangle with a is, angle A is 40, little a is 54, and little b is 62. So let's look at this one. Um, All right, I'm just going to draw my triangle. Little a is four, or big A is 40 degrees. Little a is 54. But little b, it doesn't matter where I put these. Little b is um, 62. And little, uh, that, that's all. So first up, we've got to solve for one of these angles. All right, let's solve for... Um, it doesn't matter which one we do first. Let's, but we've got uh, we've got a and little a. Oh wait, it does matter which one we solve for first. The only one we can solve for is b because we're given little b. All right. So let's see. Sine a over a equals sine b over b. I'm using the reciprocal form of it this time just because it, it'll it'll be nicer. 
sine A is going to be sine 40. Little a is 54. That's equal to sine b over b. b is 62. All right, so sine b is 62 sine 40 over 54. The reason I said it would be nicer is because um, all I had to do here was multiply both sides of this by 62. So anyway, 62 times sine 40 divided by 54 gives me 0.73, 8, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to leave that number in my calculator and get B is equal to the inverse sine of that. So inverse sine of of my answer gives me 47.56. So I'm going to go with 47, I'm going to round it 47.6 degrees. All right, so that gave me B. But here's the thing, there might be another angle that works. To figure out whether there's another angle that works, what I want to look at is, um, you know, 47.6, that looks like this. But there's another angle over here that has a reference angle of 47.6. So what I've got to do is find that one by doing 180 minus 47.6. 180 minus 47.6. is 132.4. So it looks like we might have two triangles here. One with uh, one with this angle, one with this angle. Now how do we know if they're going to be two or not? Well, that's going to be determined by what our angle C is. So really, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to split this. I'm going to, I'm going to erase this and move this over here. Kind of split this up where we've got two possible triangles. All right. On this triangle, if B is 47.6, C is going to be 180 minus 47.6 minus angle A, which was 40. So that's going to be 92. Point four degrees. All right. On this one, our angle C is going to be 180 minus 40 degrees minus 132.4. On this one, my angle C is 7.6 degrees. Now, if this had wound up being a negative number, then this uh, second triangle wouldn't actually be a triangle. But this is the, sort of the, the key part of this, is when you solve for this uh, first angle, uh, to recognize you're going to get one angle from the um, first quadrant and possibly an angle from the second quadrant. you got to check both of them because that'll get, sometimes it can give you two triangles. All right, so what's missing? On both of these, we've got to come up with, um, we've just got to come up with the little c. So to get little c, We'll just do C over sine C equals um, I want to use my angle that was originally given to us because I don't want to use these angles because they're um, they're rounded. So that equals A over sine A. So for this one C is going to be or well C over sine 92.4. Let me write that legibly. Equals A over sine A. What was A? 40 degrees. Oh, and little a also is 54. So 
So if I work that out, 54 times sine 92.4 divided by sine 40 gives me 83.9. So this is one solution. And the other solution is going to be C, little c equals 54 sine um, let's see, sine 40 on the bottom. Uh, really all we're doing is replacing the um, the c from this side with the c from this side. So 7.6. So 54 sine 7.6 divided by sine 40 gives me 11.1. .1. So we get two different solutions here. Two different triangles. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize that was off the screen. So anyway, that, that's how it works out when you have uh, two solutions. All right, this video is getting long, so I'm going to save the, uh, that last example for the next video.